Oh, hello again, and welcome to the VK6 CS Amateur Radio Channel. Um, someone said to me the other day, uh, could you use a HF SWR meter on uh, 2 meters to sort out the SWR on a 2 meter antenna? And I thought, hmm, that's a good question. I wonder if you can. Now, I think it it's going to probably depend on what sort of meter, HF meter, you've got. But um, I've just got a bird through line here, as you can see. It's got a. Uh, uh, it actually, it's actually got a 100 to 250 mega, megahertz uh, 50 watt slug in it. I've set the output of this uh, Yasu FT857 here um, to 10 watts, and I've got a dummy load there. There you go, there's the dummy load. So there we go, there's the forward power. And that's showing 10 watts. It's interesting actually because I've got a light over to my right hand side and it's actually making the shadow of the needle look like that's reading just under 10 watts. But if you look at the needle, which is the thinner of the two lines, <laughs> um, it's, it's exactly on 10 watts. Okay. Now I'll turn that into the reverse direction. And as you would expect to see, uh, zero watts, there you go. There's the radio transmitting there. Still transmitting. Uh, zero watts. Now I'm holding the camera because I can't get the tripod in the in the right place to be able to uh, um, do this. Because I've got to sit where the tripod's got to go, if you see what I mean. Um, so again, I'll just turn that slug over to the forward direction. There you go, and that is. I'll try and get the camera angle on there. There you go. You can see the the actual needle itself is on 10 watts, and the darker black line is the shadow. It's on 10 watts, and it's coming from this uh, FT857. Okay. Well, uh, I'm just going to pause that, and I'm going to fit. I've got a, I've got a couple of Revex power meters here that I bought a very long time ago. There's the this one here. Is it going to focus? This one here is a 140 to 525 uh, meg one, and this one here is a 1.8 to 30 meg. Now the trouble is that the range on this is uh, 200 watts. You know, so it's got 200 watts, 2 kilowatt and a 5 kilowatt range on it. It's obviously made for crazed CBers in the United States. So I don't know how accurate that's going to be on the um, on the uh, um, on the 200 watt range with 10 watts going into it. But it's 200 watts at the bottom there. Uh, that's 50 watts there. That's four, three, two, one. So that first peg on the bottom there should be uh, should be ten watts. Okay, I'm just going to pause this for a sec. Okay, I now have this um, 1.6 to 30 meg SWR power meter in line. I'm just going to press the PTT. Ooh, yeah. Well, that's indicating 30 watts. Uh, 10, 20. So it's indicating it's indicating 30 watts. Now, so it's obviously uh, it obviously doesn't like that very much. It's not giving me an accurate not giving me an accurate power meter uh, power reading at all. Let's try if I, so. If I go to Cal now, I wonder if I'll be able to actually do this. Maybe I can PTT it with my knees. Okay. So if I go to oh, and of course, yeah, the bloody light. The light is on my other side. So if I go to calibrate, like that. Okay, so that's now on cal, set so on forward. So if I go to SWR, what is that showing me? 
So cal, yep, SWR, and it's showing me. What's it showing me? Yeah, two to one. Show me two to one. So certainly not accurate. I'll just try the. Um, I'll just try the VHF one. Okay, well this one here is a 142 525 meg uh, unit. So now should be able to calibrate that. All the scale. And then go to SWR. Yeah, okay. And it goes straight to zero. So that's the difference between the two. That is the difference between the two. So that's showing zero SWR. Let's go to cow like that. It's on 20 watts. We go to power. What's it showing me? Uh, it's set to the 20 watt range. And it's showing me just under 10 watts there on the uh, show me just under 10 watts on the 20 watt range. So this Revex uh, VHF UHF meter is um, uh, doing what it's supposed to do. Trying to use the HF one. Trying to use the HF one. Uh, definitely definitely squirrely so um, I don't actually have a way of varying that 50 ohm load um, but um, so I can't really show you whether you know that's showing you even though it's showing two it may be showing a minimum SWR um, if I actually change the SWR to, to, to increase the SWR, whether it will show you an increase or not, I don't know. But certainly, um, is there a way I can do that? I don't think there is actually. No, that's a bit of a pain. That's a bit of a pain in the butox. But uh, yeah, so I can't really show you the um, uh, varying the load impedance on that. To see if that really, if the HF one, although it's still showing two to one, is still showing a minimum SWR. Because if you were tuning an antenna, you'd only want to tune it for the minimum, wouldn't you? Although you still wouldn't know what it was. Um, the radio would probably tell you though, because the radio does have a built-in. Uh, most radios, or most modern radios at least, have a uh, built-in SWR meter. Um, so there we go. That's just testing that on the um, on the uh, on the FT eight five seven. All right. Well, uh, I don't know whether you found that useful or not. I'm not even sure that I'll post this one. It's a bit jittery because I can't get the tripod in the right place. It's quite late, so I've got a spotlight thing hooked up here so you can see what's going on. Um, yeah, I might post it and see what happens. But uh, anyway. Um, Uh, regardless, I think I'll uh, I'll thank you for uh, for watching and wait for all the uh, uh, the nasty comments. Uh, I'll uh, I'll catch you next time. Oops, hang on, let's find the right button. There we go.